Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this patchwork card. It's not so much a technique as a layer, but I think it's a very exciting one. And the best part of it is you can do it on purpose or you can use up all those little scraps of your designer series paper that you have left over. This card is actually made using some of the pieces I had left over from the most current paper pumpkin. It's not so much that the pieces were left over, I just chose to make alternates. And when I had done one of each of the projects, there is a video of that in my profile just, you know, not so long ago. The pieces that I had left over or cutting down the envelopes and all that sort of stuff left me with these pieces. So I thought I would kill two birds with one stone and show you how to make this really cool layout as well as highlighting what you can make with pieces that you may have left over from your paper pumpkin subscription. So these are the ingredients that we need. So it's a piece of cardstock. It's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. That's, we're pretty used to that, fits into a standard size envelope. The lemon lolly, next piece down, is not a quarter inch smaller. It's only an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it fits quite tightly to the edge of the main body. And all of these little pieces are one and a quarter inches each. And then they, that's the size you need to help them fit on. The body, the piece that we're going to stamp on with the bunny is two and a half. And then just so you've got a smidge of an overlay, this is two and three five eighths Ooh, i'm lying it's two and five eighths sorry about that as always of course the directions and the descriptions and the measurements will all be in the box below so don't so much listen to the words i'm telling you <laughs> read the directions that i type in the bottom so we do have a little bit of stamping to do not much but let's get started with that i'm just going to bring in a little bit of scratch paper so i don't go mad on my work surface so I'm going to bring in the daffodils which again was one of the stamps in the paper pumpkin kit but you can use all designer series paper or you can stamp your own the choice of the, whatever you do that's your choice that's the best thing about stamping you get to use your own creativity and you'll also notice that instead of using a big stamp uh, not stamp set ink pad that I quite often do I'm using one of the spots because, again, that's what comes in the paper pumpkin kit every month. Those of you who subscribe, of course, will know this. But if you've never done it before, every month you get a stamping spot and that you just build up every colour that Stampin' Up! offers you that coordinates with the, the stamps, the kit of the month. So that's the little daffodil stamped and now I'm going to stamp the bunny who is so cute so of course again the nice thing about paper pumpkin is that once you've finished making the kit you do of course have the stamps forever and then we'll put the little chick on So cute and then last but not least we'll bring in the banner which i cut from the styler shapes it's just this long skinny one and then i will go ahead and stamp happy easter and the good thing of course is because it's an acrylic block with a polymer stamp you can see through so you can line it up to be sure that you're getting it in the right place and i would just like to point out i did that without my head ta-da that's always the hard part when you're doing videos, of course, that you stick your big noggin in the way. So let me bring in the Stampin' Blends, which are one of my favourite ways to colour. One of the things I like about them most, I think, is that if you do multiple go-overs, multiple strikes, it doesn't have the lines. Like if you colour with a regular marker, where you've gone and then you go again you do tend to get the streak marks with these they just blend into each other which is probably why they call them stamping blends to be honest so i did that with the daffodil delight the lightest one and then i'm going to go back with the darker one 
and add some definition to this little chick so it just blends in and then I'm actually going to use that darker yellow to make the trumpets of the daffodils stick out like I say you don't have to be as careful as you might think you need to be because they are very forgiving and they do blend nicely so let me just come back in and go extra little there it's very therapeutic this coloring business and then i'm going to use the lightest granny apple green just to give the leaves a little bit of color there we go and then we can work on the bunny and the bunny is my favorite little guy i'm going to use the lightest crumb cake so i'm just going to come down i'm going to not do his face so that sort of stays white and then i'm just going to miss out his chest but do the rest of him not his tail of course because that needs to be a white cotton tail So there we go that's the it's the bunny done he can go back over of course if he wanted to put more definition on his ears or anything and then last but not least i will bring in the dark petal pink which matches with the cardstock to do his ears and his little nose and then this is the lightest pumpkin pie just to give the chick his little feet and his beak so there we have it it's really quick and easy oh you know what i think i'm just gonna put a smidge of there round his face off so that's all the coloring done like i say very therapeutic and then what we'll do is we will get to sticking these guys on so in order to get the middle one in the middle i'm lining them up either side of the measure at the bottom so when i come to stick this one on i know just to line it up in the middle and that's where it will fit best this was actually a piece of one of the cards And this was the back of one of the cards, but there's also some amazing extra papers inside the envelopes when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I'll pop this one up here. Again, just measuring it so we've got the middle more or less. And it's a great way because you've always got little bits left over when you're doing layers. If you're doing 12 by 12 cardstock and you're cutting a layer off. Um, let me see. And we put that one there, that one there. And put the other daffodil up in the top. As long as you don't have two the same next row to each other. I think that's the piece that matters the most and then we'll quickly pop this one on to its layer but like i was saying if you if you're cutting a five and a quarter piece or a five and a half out of 12 by 12 cardstock, you've invariably got an inch or an inch and a half left. And this is just the most fabulous way of using up all those extra pieces. So I'll pop that in. I'll just quickly grab a couple of dimensionals. And throw those across my stamping room as usual. 
those on there and last but not least stick it onto the front of the card and there you have it it's a great way i'm such a scrimper i hate to see things go to waste so it's nice when you've got a project that allows you to make the most of things that you've got left over so there we go the same but slightly different nicely colored in very therapeutic with the stamp and blend markers if you like what you've seen please consider subscribing or give me a thumbs up i always like thumbs up if you've got a question or you want to comment please pop it below like i say i'll put all the directions and the dimensions in the box below any pertinent information that you might need if you'd like to subscribe to paper pumpkin if you're not already one of my pumpkineers i will put the link to that in the bottom so please have a look and check that out i'm also doing zoom kit classes and get togethers and you can find all the dates and any information on either my website or my blog there's a active link for that down below as well so i would love to have you join me so just click around check everything out and last but not least thanks so much for watching